Bonjour, hi. I've been feeling lost lately and so today I just wanted to like sit down, do my makeup and have like a little chit chat about how I've been feeling. And as opposed to what I'm usually doing in the coffee talk series, it won't be like a specific subject. I just want to speak my mind and do like a little, I guess, life update. But the update is that I've been, I've been lost for the past two months, I'd say. So ever since August, I've just been trying to grasp everything and to like get a hold of everything and get a grip on my life but i feel like everything has just been happening and i everything was like sliding off my fingers and i wasn't able to keep up with everything so i kind of went into like autopilot mode and i've just been like in the passenger seat for a bit um and i feel like i just don't have any control of what's happening to me and one of the main reasons behind all of this is that I've been so busy and I feel like I've, I've been saying that for the past three, four months um, ever since I became a freelancer and it, I have been busy, like, it's a fact. But now more than ever, I'm realizing that in order for me to thrive and be happy and have this sense of accomplishment, I need to take time for myself. And that's what I haven't been doing in the past couple of weeks, couple of months. Therefore, I have been feeling lost because again, I didn't have control or I didn't feel like I had control over things that have been happen happening. And to be honest, I'm having trouble explaining this to people and even, even comprehended fully myself. Because when I do talk about everything I've been doing lately, I get this feeling of pride and I feel like it sounds like I have my shit together. It really does. And part of me kind of believes it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, yes, I have been hustling. I have been doing stuff and I do feel proud about myself, but it doesn't stop me from feeling lost and feeling like I've kind of not lost my purpose, but I'm like roaming around and just letting things be, I guess. And last week I've had not one, but two realizations, which I'm going to share with you. Number one, nobody ever has their shit together. We just all become better at dealing with stuff and we become better equipped and have better tools to deal with shit. But the truth is life is always happening and there's always something coming at you that you didn't plan for. And that's gonna happen until the day you die, whether that's losing a family member, getting diagnosed with a disease. I don't, I don't know. But you can never have everything planned and you can never truly have all of your shit together. So knowing that personally has been really I don't know, I guess relieving. I felt some sort of relief to know that, oh, okay, so I don't need to have my shit together because we truly never really do. So ultimately that realization has helped me to like detach myself from wanting this perfect life and wanting to achieve all these goals and wanting to look and feel and sound perfect. And then the second thing I realized is that the people who succeed in life are the ones who create opportunities for themselves. It's something to want things for yourself, but if you're not willing to go get them and to create the opportunities for you to get there, then you're probably never actually going to get there. And the moment it hit me was last week when I was recording some behind the scene footage for a podcast and the guests were talking about their achievements and they are people who would be considered quote unquote famous or they're like all public figures and we're talking about how they got there and one of them just said well i created this for myself i created my perfect job and here i am today and when that person said that it made me realize it like lit a fire under my ass and then it made me think, how am I different from that person? And the answer was, well, 
they put themselves out there and I didn't. So if you're not willing to do things and put yourself out there, how can you expect things to happen to you? And that's for everything in life, not just professionally. If you are looking for a partner, you have to get out there and just ask people out. You have to introduce yourself and you have to be bold and ask somebody on a date. Because if you just wait for people to ask you on a date, then you might be waiting for a long, long time. And believe me, I know how scary it sounds to just like go out there and take risks and be bold. And you might be rejected here and there. You might be told no here and there, but at least you shoot your shot. You shot your, you shoot, you shot your shot. You tried. And doing so will give you the sense of control and empowerment and it will bring you back on track with your life and you won't feel lost anymore. And I guess it all comes back to what I've been saying in the beginning where I felt lost because I haven't been taking actions. I haven't been putting myself out there and I've just been waiting for stuff to happen and so that's why I got lost, essentially. If that wasn't clear enough, this is your sign to be bold, be brave, do that thing you want to do. And know that you might not succeed immediately. You might fail and have to get yourself back up in the process. But at least you're doing something that a lot of people are afraid to do, which is trying. And remember that you will never have all of your shit together. You will just be better equipped to deal with it. So I think I want to end by saying that it's okay to feel lost. It's normal to feel lost at times. And sometimes you might not know where you're headed, but you just have to trust yourself and listen to yourself because you know what's best for you and you know what you truly want. So you're the only person who can go get it for yourself. That was repetitive, but you get the point. My makeup is done. I said what I wanted to say, so that's convenient. And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I truly mean it. Hopefully I have made a little difference in your day today. If you would like to make a difference in mine, you know what to do. And I'm going to wish you in Benjolni.